Yo guys, what's going on? Before I even say anything, you guys are kind of hurting my feelings because you guys are saying I can't solve a Rubik's Cube and I can guys, like just just believe me, I, I don't, I haven't solved this one yet, but I promise you in the next video it will be solved. The second announcement is I'm actually writing a children's book. It's about to be literally, it's about to be the most dopest fire book you, you're ever going to read. And it's the, honestly the only book you'll ever need in your life. Like forget the textbooks you need for classes. This book is all it's gonna, I already have the characters, the story plot, everything. I'm just trying to illustrate it right now and like develop the story a little bit. Follow me on Twitter though, so you can see like updates about it and whatever. But without further ado, iOS 11 beta 5. It's a huge update for sure. I'm gonna walk you through some of the major things. All the minor things are kind of dumb, but and I would say the worst thing about it all. I don't, this is a controversial opinion. The notification drawer. I literally don't. I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know why they keep it the same thing. I feel like if a lot of us complain about it, they'll probably fix it. But there's really not. I mean, I don't know. That's just a personal opinion of mine. So one of the things they changed actually was the camera app. And I don't know if you can tell, but on past iOS versions, the camera app looked kind of like kind of oldish a little bit more blockish and they had more lines in it but this one they kind of took like a more of like an instagram approach more modern approach they took out the lines and everything i think it looks pretty smooth another interesting thing they did was they changed the facetime ringing notifications so i'm pretty sure you can change the facetime ringtone as well i haven't delved that much into the settings but let's go and see okay i've not really found anything yet but just know that the facetime ringing has changed and now whenever you record something on the screen, you can just pull up here and when you hit the recording button, the status bar is now red instead of blue. So it kind of gives you more of like an indication that it is recording because like recording thing is always red. But other than that, I would say speed, uh, stability, everything has pretty much stayed the same. I haven't really seen anything, no crashes, luckily no lags. I, I, I did notice a little bit of a lag like when I shuffle in between the uh, home screens. As you can see, there was something like that was going on, maybe like a hiccup or two. But other than that, like it's been pretty solid. Another cool thing they did was when you you turn into the widgets thing and you see that little spotlight search thing up there when you scroll through the widgets it actually stays up there and on past iOS versions it didn't stay so it's kind of cool apple thought about that it's kind of a cool little thing like i'm never probably ever going to use it but another cool thing is if you're plugging in your iphone to a computer and it hasn't been like trusted yet since most ios 11 devices have fingerprint sensors you're now actually required to use touch id in order to grant authorization to the computer so i mean that's kind of cool i can't really see that being a problem for me unless you have a device that does not have a fingerprint sensor but i think every ios 11 device has some sort of touch id thing i'm not sure though but all in all, if you're on iOS 11, I would recommend updating to this beta. You probably won't be missing out on much and you'll obviously be gaining features. The only downside is, is that if there are bugs that nobody has seen yet for like, the, cause it just came out yesterday, then your phone will be the first one to notice. But if you're on iOS 10 or something, I wouldn't recommend updating. If you're using this phone as a daily driver, this phone is not my daily driver, then I would not update yet. I would wait until the official iOS 11 comes out. But other than that, there's really not much to say. Oh, you guys might be wondering about this case. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's kind of cool. It's like a carbon fiber kind of thing and it's really thin. I kind of like it a little bit. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. So I'm posting videos like this all the time. And I honestly, like if you're watching my videos and you're not subscribing, then I feel kind of bad because like what I, I'm curious on what I'm doing wrong so I can fix it and I can have you guys subscribe because like at the end of the day, I'm doing this for you, you know, like you guys have no idea how much I care about you guys, but uh, that's that's a separate topic. Like this video as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. I'm on all the social networks you see on the screen, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, dude like i'd be posting some like crazy stuff i hope you guys are vibing with me on there dude i post so much crazy stuff it's awesome instagram i'm crazy on snapchat i've been lagging on a little bit i gotta pick it back up but i will i will soon i promise you guys but more importantly than anything else i've said right now i love all of you guys and hopefully i will catch you guys in the next video peace out till then